Hello. All right. I mean, all you need is for one of these to have been done by Banksy, and this house pays for itself. <laughs> Hi guys, Matt McKeever here. So just shooting a quick little intro video for our limo tour. So we did limo tour number three uh, earlier this month. It was fantastic. We had a huge group of people come out again, a bunch of new faces, a few old faces, and we even had Leon drive down all the way from Toronto just to check out our limo tour. So that was super cool. Frank Shannon here and your property manager. I'm cool. The realtor selling this property, he owns that one, sold this one. Well, actually he sold it. Yeah. How long have you been here? It'll be two years in April. Nice. Yeah. And you like the area or? Not bad. The yeah. area's not too bad. Uh, March. It's it's not. It's everything's central. Yeah. You're five minutes, ten minutes yeah. walk yeah. from downtown. Yeah. You're uh, half a bus like twenty minutes away to your grocery store. Storage right at the corner. So yeah, uh, good. Everything you need's right here. Watch and uh, laundry mat just a couple blocks down the street. So okay, I see. Everything's pretty much around where you live. We saw a huge variety of properties. We got to see. Uh, couple small duplexes, a larger sixplex, as well as a flip candidate. So it was a really nice variety of properties, kind of give everyone a whole different, or a full spectrum of what's available in London, Ontario. Hey, that's, that's, the name. Uh, that's how you learn. <laughs> <laughs> that was the cheapest offer uh, Well, back then that's what I thought. You know, I said, okay, guys, if I went, why spend 90 yeah, or yeah. 79, right? Okay. Well, it doesn't work that way. You're looking like, you know, a couple of grand and then, you know, the taste is yeah. probably charge on 700 bucks for this place. I could see it maybe, yeah. Yeah, or close to it. You know, yeah. Easy, 675 at least. But I just kind of let it go. And uh, the sixplex actually even had a unit that probably rivals the previous limo tour for smelliest property of all time that I've encountered. Yeah, pizza serving diet. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Things, uh, she couldn't put the couch in there, so she put the bed and then she put the couch here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So no, that grocery store came in. Uh, it's just, it, it really stands out as like a high quality place yeah. that you wouldn't expect to be somewhere around here. So, could be signaling, you know, yeah. major potential. Yeah. Even had time to do a pit stop at the Fire Roasted Cafe location that's inside the Old East Village Grocer. Uh, it'd only been myself and Kellen who'd actually been to the grocer before uh, this limo tour. So everyone was just blown away by what's going on there. It's just amazing, it's so beautiful, it's so fresh and clean. The Fire Roasted Cafe is just amazing as well. In addition to that, uh, at the time of the limo tour, they actually hadn't opened up the food incubator at the back, but they have now and I've been there to check it out since then. Amazing guys. This is the coolest place in London, Ontario. If you live or are near London, Ontario, do yourself a giant favor and go check out the Old East Village Grocer. Because usually it's a group of three, three girls happen to meet. Two of them like each other, one they're fighting, one wants to leave right away. One girl messaged me and said, do you know what's going on here? I had no idea. She said, I I've moved out. And I'm like, what? And she's like, don't worry, I'm still paying you. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I don't need to know the rest of the drama. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. And they can approach you with the replacement. They could, right? So they could try to sublet that, right? Yeah. Uh, that particular Toronto type of family didn't care. Right. They're not. Other people sure. might try to sublet it. Or sign the lease, right? So the flip property that we ended up going to look at, it was a bank repo, and so it had the water turned off. But it probably was most memorable for all the graffiti that was just throughout the basement. So the walls and drywall in the basement were just covered with graffiti uh, as far as the eye could see. Uh, good for a few laughs, but in addition to that, it might scare off some potential investors. Show to me a potential opportunity there. Your average investor just off the street that's just looking for a real cosmetic flip might be deterred by that, but at the same time, it's nothing structural. It's something that can be uh, solved with a coat of bin paint primer. Any type of sealer primer that's gonna seal in those stains or those markers and spray paint. You can get into the garage right here if anybody. Yeah. No, you can. Yeah, you can. If that anybody wants to. So this could be a mudroom laundry. If anyone's not in a three piece Slash suit, Slash sunroom. Go you right could be really creative in here. It's not, it's cleaner in there. It's the garage.
Interesting. Insulation huh. looks in good condition. <laughs> oh, man. One point, a little bit of water, maybe. what your expectations were or like what your um, thoughts were of today yeah i thought it was great like heading around the limo was fantastic yeah. um all the properties that we saw was like great like exactly the kind of properties that you wanted to see yeah so yeah they, had, they all had potential they all had great numbers and even the package that you get is great with all the numbers yeah. and that already there for you like was it worth the drive down from Toronto? definitely yeah. definitely yeah i learned a lot especially being a newbie so yeah it was fantastic coming out here and just learning and meeting people as well like networking yeah. is fantastic yeah yeah i think honestly like networking's huge like and i'm learning more and more about that too the value in it because yeah. like like I was telling you earlier, there's no sense in reinventing the wheel, right? Like yeah. it's a waste of exactly. effort and time. But Yeah, so yeah, I met a great, like a whole bunch of new people, like got to learn about London as well. So yeah, it was fantastic. Had a great time.